Hi, I'm David Donnelly, I'm the Group Head of HR at San Carlo. I've learned a lot more about financial wellbeing, particularly in the last 24 months, about having a, a good and acute understanding of your own financial awareness, you know, what your incomings are, what your outgoings, and what you can do to, to aid that. But also, I don't think enough people talk about it, particularly within hospitality, and there's a bit of a stigma attached to hospitality, that it's just kind of an in and out job. For me, I wanted to break down that stigma and, you know, see it, see it as more of a career. But particularly from the, the wellbeing side, I think flexibly we can offer more shifts. So if people are struggling a little bit more, we can, we can nurture things in a way that will allow people to look after their own financial well-being and that's ultimately why we introduce initiatives such as WageStream. I think with the use of the build tool they were able to start setting aside some money to, to potentially look at you know future investment savings etc and ultimately their own financial well-being but actually in times such as Christmas or busier periods you're then able to essentially earn a bit more so you can spend a bit more and you're not putting yourself in any sort of financial detriment. In the hospitality sector alone there's a recruitment problem but I think over Christmas what it's taught people as individuals but also as, as a business is that if you help them they will help you. I've had a number of employees come to me several times you know thanking me for bringing them this benefit that it's really allowed them to have a greater awareness of their finances use the build tool and you know build pots accordingly and essentially in 2023 after quite a tumultuous 2022 they can uh, they can then look forward to you know a holiday which otherwise they may not have been able to afford. A lot of firms weathered the storm well during during the pandemic and if, if they've come out of it then great but actually it goes beyond that now. A lot of people are in survival mode so what can you do to, to help that from, from a well-being perspective and that's that's looking at things financially from a health basis from you know including mental health and I would advise any business to to take it very seriously and see what they can do and that most importantly speak to the speak to the people.